Good morning, guys. I'm filming this on Mother's Day, so if you're a mom, happy Mother's Day. This video is not going to be out <laughs> by Mother's Day, but anyway, this is kind of like a part two video. If you missed part one, definitely check that out. But today we are going to be finishing this little lineup of cuties I carved yesterday. So we carved the two bears, and then I had to chop that one bear's head off. And then out of the three good quarters, one quarter had some rot in it, so I didn't use it. Um, but these were the three quarters of that one bear that we beheaded. So we're going to finish everyone up today. So we're going to break out the hand tools, give them cute little faces. I'm going to try to keep this video as organized as possible, but it might be a little chaotic as I'm jumping between all five of these carvings between like dry times and everything but i'm trying my best we have our first volunteer our little heart to bear so we're gonna make this look more like a heart <laughs> might give him little heart feet and a cute face so i think i'm gonna start i don't know finger sander angle grinder or die grinder we'll see i got my little bucket of tools so we're gonna keep everything and then this bucket slides right in there this is my little my little stuff you guys got a sneak peek of one of my carvings in there oops let's go okay, and then we'll put him to the side grab our next victim now we'll texture them all together and paint them all together. I'm also going to give him little toes. Look how cute he's gonna be. Eyelids, upper and lower, little nose, heart feet. So, on to the next. I think this guy is so cute. I might make him a grizzly. I don't know. I don't think I've ever made a brown sitting bear. Let's detail him up. Look at this little gentleman. I don't know. He's kind of giving me like cute little grizzly vibes. He's a chill dude. Chilling hard. Those little feet. Okay, on to the next. Maybe this little cute.
Okay. I was actually considering not giving him eyes. He kind of has just like a, I don't know, very like simplistic look, but I think I'm gonna give him eyes. So I'm between this size here or this little one. Maybe we'll go with the bigger one. Uh, maybe we'll go with the smaller one. You know what? We're gonna go with the smaller one because we can always go bigger, right? Okay, small one it is. I think we're gonna put the eyes about there. And then we'll have like a tear trough. Then we'll give him an upper brow. I think that's good. To any of the carvers that watch me, a tip that I can give you when doing your eyes, if you have an eye bit like this, is just lightly press on both sides. That way you can make sure they're really even. I see a lot of carvings where like one eye will be like up here and the other will be down there. And like once you really push on these, you're committed because they just chew through wood. So I kind of just do a little touch on one side, touch on this side look at them if they don't look even you know you didn't push deep so it's easy to fix um so yeah just my two cents time for the trammel The tiniest little bear in the whole wide world. Not to toot my own horn, but <laughs> this guy is pretty stinking cute. I'm actually really happy with how he's coming out. I could make a bunch of these. This was actually a lot of fun. It's it's tiny, but um, I could see myself making this on like a larger scale. I think it would be really cool. I'm gonna end up keeping this guy. I think he's definitely gonna be a grizzly. I think what we'll do is um, I'll give him some very light texture, <laughs> not with the chainsaw, I'll probably do it with the die grinder. And then um, I'll burn him, and then I'll use the Sandoflex or some kind of sander and kind of give him some contrast. And then I'll like really burn right here where he attaches to like the base. I don't know, it's gonna be cool though. I'm excited, I think it's really cute. Okay, so we got a tiny little bear left and a cardinal. So let's go, we're almost there. So next up we have Mr. Cardinal. I have a cardinal I carved a little while ago here as a reference. I love this guy. I filmed a video, some of you might have seen it, when I carved him. And I was calling him Cracky Boy because he has a bunch of cracks, but I love him. But I'm um, gonna use him as a little reference because I just think he's a doll. But uh, we're gonna start zooming through these. I have this and another mini left, um, that mini little bear pig thing. And then um, we'll start getting to like the really fun stuff, texturing, paint, yada yada. So uh, put you on time lapse. Let's zoom through these last two, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, this is the last one, and this is the one I've been debating on making him a little black bear or a little pig. And I feel like most of you would say go pig because why not? <laughs> so we're gonna go pig. I'm gonna turn this little bear into a pig. So he's gonna have his little hooves here and little hooves there. Um, kind of like a little cartoony pig. I'll kind of point his ears up a little bit, give him a little snoot. It should be cute. So it's cool. Just take a moment to um, appreciate <laughs> this creation. What the heck? Oh my goodness. It's a pig bear. <laughs> Look at the eyes. So that's everybody. 
Um, so let's start with some texture. So we are ready to texture our bears, give them some hair because they're a little naked right now. <laughs> but one thing I just wanted to address quick is the fact that I'm using my dime tip bar. So since I bought this dime tip bar, I have barely used it. So I bought it from my little electric organ saw, but I was finding that it was burning up. Like the bar was getting so hot that you couldn't even touch it. You could like fry an egg on the thing. And I think it's because with the electric saws, since it's all or nothing, there's no play in the throttle. I think it was just causing too much friction and it was making this burn up. So this is the first time I'm trying my dime tip on a gas saw. I'm gonna see if I'm having the same problem. Hopefully I'm not because I would really like to use this cause uh, they're not cheap and I have it and I love it. Oh, well, I don't know if I love it yet, but um, I'm hoping I love it cause everybody else loves it. So this is just on my 170s. So this is what we're gonna be using for now. And then um, we'll see how it holds up. So let's go. Spidey check. So that one time I don't check will be there, waiting to numb on my ears. a new torch. I'm gonna make this beep people a grizzly. So I only have one propane tank right now, and it is currently on our grill. Otherwise, I would have um, grabbed that. Okay, so everybody is defuzzied. That's the main purpose of torching. I just go overboard 90% of the time. But uh, we have two grizzlies and one black bear, then the cardinal, and then the, the pig. <laughs> so this handsome man's gonna be a grizzly. The one with the heart, he's going to be a black bear. So we're gonna start with him, just that way he has time to dry and then we can paint the heart. Um, then that little bear head's gonna be a grizzly. And then of course we have a pig and then our cardinal. So we'll start with the ones that need paint first. So we'll go black bear, cardinal, pig, grizzlies, something along those lines. So let's get started. Okay, there might be a change of plans, maybe. Um, I was just about to start making our little black bear, a black bear over here, and a customer pulled in right off the road like they usually do. And he might want this guy, but he wants a black bear. So our grizzly, may or may not, depending on a phone call, become a black bear. So uh, 
I'll wait on him before I oil him up and make him a grizzly. Yeah, wait, I was gonna do him at the end anyway. Okay, so really not a big change of plans, but you know, let's just, let's paint this guy and we'll go from there. Mr. Pig's turn. So let's go over to my messy area. So let's make him pink, obviously. I think I only have that pink and I have this pink. This is more pig. This pretty much screams I'm a pig. So our pig is going to be Sweet Pea. Oh, how sweet. We have a Sweet Pea. That's his name now. Sweet Pea the pig. Let's turn you pink. Time to pink. Let him dry and then we'll do another layer. So I just got the official call. Our grizzly is now a black bear. Um, so all that sanding for nothing, but it's okay. A sale's a sale, right guys? So let's go make a black bear. Hey guys, I'm including you on what I consider to be one of the best parts of carving. You ready? Shaboop. 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 Literally, this is what I look forward to, guys. This right here. Shaboop. I don't know why that's the sound I'm choosing. Oh, look at those babies. Shaboop, shaboop, boop, and shaboop. Get out of my paint, what are you? Shaboop. Okay, so we're done. Sweet pea, I had to do <laughs> I had to do like four layers of spray paint. I'm covering him right now. That's why I'm like so right here. But are you ready? He's so <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my! It was supposed to be a bear, guys. I made it a pig for you, so you're welcome. Let's remove this. And this. Look at that piggy. That is one happy pig. I can't get over this carving. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? <laughs> this is what I have to deal with, guys. I've never seen a dog so obsessed with feet. <laughs> You're wild. You know that? You're a wild puppy. Give me my foot back. Come on. I have to go to work. Bye, Nami. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I go. Are you guys ready to see everybody else finished up? I hope you are, because I'm about to show you. Here is the lineup, the crew. We have our grizzly bear that's now a black bear. I think he's super cute. He's got cute little feet. Then we have this little guy. It's so funny. Look how different their faces are. It's so cool. I love it. I love it. 
He has a heart now. And then we have Sweet Pea, our first piggy. You're welcome, guys. That was supposed to be a bear. And then we have a little cardinal, super cute, and a grizzly. I really like how this guy came out. I think he's really cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of mini two-part series. One day carving and one day finishing up. So, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Sweet. See you guys next time. Bye.